Hey guys, uh, I'm going to keep this one short and simple since my last one was close to 10 minutes long. Um, I feel in my last video talking about the Stanley Parable, I kind of covered my experiences that I could cover in this one too. Um, I feel like the game just gets deeper the more you the more you play it. You keep unlocking things as you go. Um, I feel like the consequences you make in or the actions you have in the game have dramatic consequences to what happens later. Um, it really all depends on what you decide to do in disobedience from the narrator that delegates what's going to happen next in the game. Um, I still stand by what I say when I say, um, sorry I'm saying um a lot, that I, I still think it's a game. Uh, just like I said last time, even though it doesn't follow the exact conventions that are stated in the reading, I still feel if you pick it apart you can you can find what the goal is and to me the goal is still you know make it out by whatever means necessary if that takes 15 minutes then it takes 15 minutes if it takes multiple times dying and searching through separate areas of the game to to get there I I just feel like it's a multiple ending game for the most part and every time you play through it's a slightly different experience which makes it a pretty special and important game as far as a game I would want to design or want to do, I really like the idea of of multiple endings of constant choice. I think a lot of the games that have the games that multiple have endings and multiple different paths lead down are usually the most interesting because it provides a lot of replay value. That being said, I don't think that's practical as far as me wanting to make a game. I think keeping it simple is probably the best way to go about it. Uh, if I were to make a game right now that was simple and still entertaining, I talked about it last week, the, the Hitman games. They uh, they created a game for Android and iPhone. I think it's just called Hitman something or other, but it's completely different from the video I posted last week. It's almost like a turn-based chess-style game where you have a certain amount of different pathways you can take to get from point A to point B, and you can choose to take out the guards that are followed along in block and turn paste uh, format and the guards are on rotation if the guard is looking at you when you decide to make that turn then you're out and that's a life or you can continue to time the turns correctly to where you can't see or the the character you're trying to get past can't see you and you can knock them over like a chess piece and take that character or you can find a different way around and based on how many characters you take out and the amount of turns it takes for you to get from point A to point B is what determines your score in the game. And playing it certain ways gets you certain different achievements, like taking out all the characters, of course, will take longer than the standard amount of turns that it would give you if you were to just go through and avoid characters. And there's a point system based on that. And I think that's a really cool idea for something that's simple, you know, not following specifically off of Hitman, but, you know, maybe like some sort of dungeon tower style game where you have to get to the top level of the tower but there's guards and things along the way and they're all in a turning system and you just have to find your way around the maze while avoiding all those guards to get to the top and getting to the top fastest or taking out as many guards or as few guards will be will give you different achievements for the next time you play the game possibly starting with more lives or, or something like that. But I think that'd be a good place to start, and I'd really enjoy probably building something like that. All right, see ya.